of drugs in my day. Yeah, I said it, but I'm still gonna kick your ass. Gustafson, I hope you're ready. When I got into the crash, I ain't know the bitch was pregnant, but they treat me like a murderer, so motherfucker critty. Bitch, I'm ready to fight, and we can fight till the death. I'll hit your ass with the right, and with the right and the left. They kick you right in the chest, and have you fighting for breath. And then I'll turn the pressure up when you would try to get rest. Leave you no time to adjust. They knew I'm coming for the title, so quit hiding your next. Cause I'm right at your neck Yeah, you can try and fight Lesnar But when you fight him, what's next? That's right, I'm the best At UFC 232, I'll get my title instead Salute, salute to the full-time family For the intro UFC 232 Venue has been changed A lot of craziness around that we have to rename John Bones Jones to John Picogram Jones. Uh, a lot of people have already went through this already, but I'm gonna touch on it in a little song. Venue change, Vegas now moving it to the forum because Las Vegas wouldn't give Jones a, uh, a, a license to fight because he had picogram traces of a banned substance now the question is why are they why are they testing for a level of you know quote unquote enhancing substances which isn't going to enhance anything so well, why are they testing for it Shouldn't be test. Shouldn't they be testing for stuff that is actually gonna enhance performance? Like these, they're saying it's negligible. So why are they even reporting it? It it it's just it 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 doesn't make no sense to me. It doesn't make no sense to me. But on the other hand, if you've got any form of of um, a banned substance in here, then you shouldn't be eligible to fight, or there needs to be some kind of investigation. But again, we're talking, you know, these ridiculous levels of of substances but it, it's raising questions now to has has the one of the greatest fighters uh in the lightweight division has he been fighting dirty all of his all of his career that 21 that sorry that 22 and one and one no contest is 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 that a real true reflection of his career based upon all of this madness that's going on with him now it's sad, it's real sad because he's missing the, the legacy that he's potentially created. He's, there's a massive question mark over it now. And not to think, I mean, this tech get the fighters out of it. What about all the people across the world who have booked tickets to go over there? Who have pre-purchased hotel accommodation, attractions, whatever else, meeting up friends, family and all of that, and have gone to Vegas you know, <laughs> and now a week prior, we're moving it all the way over to, to the forum in, in in Cali. And it doesn't, I don't, you know, I've been looking on the old Twitter and stuff and I can't see anyone really saying that they're going to be putting on specific transport for people who are in Vegas and, you know, or <clears throat> doesn't seem to be any kind of special arrangements apart from refunds, which is obviously a standard practice with any kind of um, transaction for a sporting or musical event so we got hotels we got flights you know people have traveled like literally across the world to come and see the, these um, see this event so the UFC have really messed up on this obviously I know that they want to maintain the event and have Jones on there because he's a, a big headliner but I don't know I think things need to be done a little bit differently in that respect but Jones versus Gofterson part two will be an epic one trustfully um, if there's any if it goes anywhere like the first fight Jones is saying he wasn't really prepared for that there etc etc so you know <coughs> if, if the uh, new improved Mr. Um, Pico Graham Jones turns up in this year then, you know, we might see Alexander get finished 
or we might see a, a pretty much a repeat. But Gofterson's coming with a lot of gusto, saying how he actually won the first fight, and you know people have agreed with him, etc. So we're gonna have to see with that. We're gonna have to see. He's got a lot of confidence. You definitely gotta have that. You can't go into a, a, a physical altercation, a full combat sport, thinking that you may lose. Obviously, you gotta have a bit of realism within that there, but you gotta be confident. Jones is confident, clearly. Um, so we're gonna have a, 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 a big clash for the uh, for the main event, and then moving on to the the co main event, Christina Cyborg versus Amanda the Lioness Nunes, twenty and one and one no contest for Cyborg and sixteen and four for Nunes. That's it's a very interesting fight on paper. Um, I think most definitely. Nunes is going to have the speed advantage with this, and they're talking about her power, but I don't think the power is going to be able to match up with uh, Chris Cyborg, who cuts a lot of weight to even get down to this anyway, so it's going to be speed, speed and skill versus power, aggression and skill. I'm going with um, Cyborg on this one, I'm actually going to, yeah, I'm going with Cyborg on this one. I do like the underdogs. I always like to root for the underdogs. So it'd be nice if um, Nunes does make history. Um, you know, becomes the first female champ champ. 